Welcome to video R-0, Introduction to Ratio Videos. Uh, my hope is to make a few more videos just to help uh, explain some of the, the main concepts uh, for this math team topic. So uh, everybody should have the uh, previous contest questions um, for the math team topic of ratio, proportion, and percent, uh, questions 1 through 84. Five. Some of them were assigned over the summer. Um, this contest is with calculator, so please use your TI-84 graphing calculator. You are not allowed to use Chromebooks, computers, laptops. Um, you can't use a TI-89 or a calculator uh, like that. The first meet is Thursday, October 3rd at Lake Park High School. And these five schools will be there, Lake Park, Buffalo Grove, Hersey, Hinsdale South, and Maine East. So as I said before, I'm going to try to make a few videos on select questions. Um, and I'll call them R for the ratio unit. Then the next uh, number will be the question in the packet. And then I'll try to put a, a topic. So probably the first one I'll make will be R48. Uh, it's question 48, and it's about weighted grades. It's just something applicable to to the students in their real lives. All right, so for all the freshmen in my two accelerated algebra two classes, period six and period nine, you don't have to worry about any outside activities at all. I'm gonna teach the unit in class. And I'm gonna give a test in class, and it will count as a grade in class. So even if you're not gonna be participating on the uh, math team, you're still gonna learn um, the fun topics of the math teams. If you're a freshman in Accelerated Geo-Trig, Pre-Calc, Accelerated Math Analysis, obviously you won't be in my classroom uh, learning during the day, so I have to have practice outside of the class. Uh, one way I'll do it is through these videos. Um, also, I could give you worked out solutions, and I try to meet in person uh, at least once as well. Um, last year what I did is I met on a Saturday, and just for two to three hours, and we just did all of our practices there. I'm not really a great early morning person, and instead of just doing 20 minutes in the morning, we can get a lot done in that one chunk. So I'll come around and see if, um, if that'll work for, for those students. Um, keep in mind, I can only take about 15 students to the away meets. For the home meet, which is gonna be the second math meet, I can take everybody. But for this first one, I'm going to take the top 15 students. So let's say 20 students want to go. I'll just take the top 15 scores and see if, uh, and see if they can go. One more thing I want to point out is the eighth graders are welcome to be in the team, but they cannot be in the contestant role. All right. So there's two types of people on the math team. The five designated contestants, and then the others are alternates. So the eighth graders must be an alternate, and there have been times where they've had perfect scores and top scores, and they can't count for the, um, the team total. They want to wait until they're actually in high school. So I did not make that rule. Um, and again, just a reminder, um, exact answers. Even though you've got a calculator, I'm going to teach you how to use the math frac button and, and report the answers exactly. And if they say to round the nearest tenth of a percent, make sure you round the nearest tenth of a percent. Don't give um, a decimal answer, you gotta give a percent answer. So please make sure that you read carefully. And then for the first contest, I'll remind you again, when you actually take the contest, write your answers down on your scratch paper so that when you leave the contest, you can check your answers in our, um, in our homeroom and see what you got right and wrong. Okay, so hopefully you'll enjoy our videos and uh, think about participating on the math team. Bye-bye.